What's up guys, Rand Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring us a quick in-depth review of the Aereo Messenger Bag from Moshi. So of course without further ado, let's check out this bag, see what's so special about it, and give you guys my quick in-depth review. Moshi is well known in the industry for making popular iPhone, iPad, and MacBook cases. New to this year, they introduced a bag called the Aerial Messenger Bag, which is something that Moshi has not really touched on in the bag market. So let's check out this bag and see what Moshi has to offer. The Aerial Bag is obviously a messenger style bag. The Aerial Bag does come in two different colors. This particular model here is like a brown and beige type combination. And of course, it can be picked up off of Moshi's website in the description below. So taking a quick overview of the bag, starting off with the front here, we do have a front main zippered pocket, which features a Moshi branded metal zipper. And the thing I like about these uh, zipper extensions is that they're solid and easy to grab, unlike some of the ones that are made of like a fabric material. But anyways, this is a great pocket for storing quick access or uh, quick to grab items, sorry, such as your phone, your wallet, or just small items like that. The front flap here that pretty much covers the entire main compartment does feature two plastic clips here to secure it in place. On the other side of the bag here, we do have a very nice padded top handle here to carry the bag if you're not using the strap. There's also a back pocket here that also features that metal uh, Moshi zippered here. So this is a great spot for storing things like magazines. There's also a smaller secondary pocket on the inside here, in addition to a long strap to attach keys or something along those lines. The smallest strap here is actually for a luggage roller. So for those of you who have a luggage roller, you can slide your messenger bag down the uh, handle rails to keep it secured in place. Lastly, of course, we have the shoulder strap here. It's made of a very durable, uh, what I like to call a seatbelt material, it even looks like a seatbelt, uh, similar to cars. And it's very, very strong. Definitely something that won't break anytime soon. And uh, this particular padding here is actually dubbed as Moshi's Propriety Visco Strap, which helps alleviate uh, shoulder pain or strain, sorry, uh, in case you're carrying heavy items like textbooks along with your map book and a few other things. As you all know, messenger bags, for those who have used these, do get kind of heavy. So this definitely helps relieve some of that pressure off your shoulder. Well, last thing I want to throw at you guys is the bottom here does feature an additional layer of feels like nylon material uh, to prevent wear and tear on the original material that's on the bag. All right, so let's move to the inside of the bag here. First off, we have another zippered pocket here. Great spot for storing uh, flat things like your ebook, an extra battery, or just small flat accessories like that. You also have another pocket on the top here that features this vegan leather trim. And again, great spot for storing flat items. And finally, we move to the main compartment here. This is where you're gonna store your notebooks, your laptops, your tablets, things like that. Fairly large space for a messenger style bag. You have smaller sleeves uh, style pockets right on the other side here. Two pen pockets right here as well as two padded pockets. This one here is actually adjustable. It features a Velcro, um, kind of like a locking mechanism or something. Uh, basically, you can expand this pocket, or if you don't need to, you can leave it flush. And of course, what kind of messenger bag this wouldn't be without a laptop sleeve. This can fit up to a 15 inch Retina MacBook Pro or PC counterparts. It's a very well padded compartment, so definitely a great spot to keep your MacBook nice and safe. Well, last detail I missed on the outside here is this elastic part of the strap. And basically what this part does is when you're walking around with the messenger bag on, it's going to be bouncing up and down a little bit. And therefore, it's going to be putting strain on your shoulder when it bounces up and down. This will actually help relieve that pressure because it's flexible and therefore take a little bit less strain on your shoulders. So it's definitely one of those minor details that I think make this bag a little bit more worthwhile uh, for Moshi than other brands. So here's a quick look at what the messenger bag looks on myself here and pretty much wears like any other style messenger bag. In terms of fit and comfort, the uh, shoulder padding on the top here that Moshi put on definitely makes a pretty big difference in terms of uh, shoulder strain. You can actually feel that it helps relieve that pressure a little bit. In terms of the aesthetics, it looks like a really nice, sleek, modern looking messenger bag. That's definitely a little bit more unique than the average messenger bag you see on a university campus, for example. And it's a great looking messenger bag for pretty much any type of uh, profession, whether you're a student, professor, or if you're working in the business environment, it's a great bag to carry on that suit pretty much any environment. Overall guys, the first impressions on the Moshi Aerial Messenger Bag is pretty positive. It's a nice, modern, sleek looking messenger bag that's very well made, offers a lot of features and pockets, and you carry a good number of items including your map book and a few other books and accessories. The bag itself also has a good amount of structure to it, so it's not going to fold or collapse even when you have just your laptop in it. As you guys can see here, it's not being held up by anything, even with my 15-inch MacBook in it and nothing else. When I first got this bag, I was a little bit skeptical just because Moshi uh, never really had bags before. They had cases, sleeves, and whatnot for the MacBooks, iPhones, and iPads, but bags 
it wasn't really their kind of experience from uh, their past products I've reviewed. So when they first introduced this, I was a little bit skeptical. But now that I've been using this and exploring the features that this bag has to offer, I definitely say this is an excellent uh, product that Moshi has produced. It's high quality, well made, and the attention to detail with not just the uh, materials and you know little uh, trimmings and whatnot that's on the bag, but the functionality such as having the ability to have the messenger bag stand up without falling. It's just one of those little things that make this bag worthwhile. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the bag, um, it would have been nice if Moshi added, say, like magnetic locks along with the plastic clips here, just as a secondary locking mechanism for those of us who don't want to use the plastic clips as often. But other than that, there really isn't anything wrong with the bag as long as it meets your needs in terms of the pockets and features that it offers and you like the design, it's definitely a great bag to go for. In conclusion, guys, if you're looking for a stylish, functional, and high-quality built messenger style bag, you definitely can't go wrong with the Moshi Aerial Messenger Bag. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video and that's my quick in-depth review of the Moshi Aerial Messenger Bag. As always, I'd like to thank Moshi for shooting this up for review. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you on the next video.